Hi, this is Ajit. Welcome to Step by Step Data Science Tutorial. This is part three, and we will discuss about writing in normal equation for linear equation. Firstly, we will derive a normal equation, and finally, we will implement that in Python. So, our normal equation is. So we know our our normal equation is x transpose x all inverse x transpose y okay so what what this equation is so this is one way of generating optimal value of theta optimal if we implement this equation we get optimal value of theta if we implement this equation okay so this is an alternative uh, to a gradient descent where uh, if we implement a gradient descent then we will get optimal value of theta likewise if we implement this equation then we get optimal value of theta okay so how this equation is being derived i will show you step by step okay so uh, one thing to note is uh, to get optimal value of uh, of any any theta or whether it's beta or gamma or anything uh, if we have our hypothesis and if we take derivative of our hypothesis and if we equate it with equals zero and whatever value we get of uh, our hypothesis that that will be our optimal value okay so if we have any equation if we take derivative of that with respect to or with, with respect to theta or gamma or theta or gamma or beta and equate it with zero we get optimal value of theta or gamma or gamma or beta anything okay so that's that's the intuition uh, that we need to have while while generating while calculating optimal value of theta okay so let's uh, let's derive this equation let's derive uh, what what's our aim our goal is to derive normal equation which is x transpose of x inverse x transpose y okay we will be driving this equation In the last video, we discussed that our MSE is 1 by 2M, sigma i equals 1 to M, h theta of x of i minus y of i whole square, right? So one thing we need to know is if we do matrix of x square, if we, the matrix multiplication of x squares will be x transpose of x. Okay, that means if we do a at the rate x at the rate x, x multiplication, matrix multiplication of x, then suppose if my x is 1, 2, 3, another needs to be 1, 2, 3. So it should be transposed so that we can do matrix multiplication, right? So we need to know this. So, in, so the square of x is x transpose of x. Likewise, the square of all this term will be this will be 1 by 2 m sigma i equals 1 to m as theta of x i minus y of i or transpose as theta of x of i minus y of i okay so we know h of theta is equals 1 to m is theta transpose x we know h of theta is h of theta is theta transpose x okay of y of transpose theta transpose x minus y okay so 1 by 2 m sigma equals 1 to m this will be theta x transpose minus y transpose 
theta transpose x minus y okay so 1 by 2m sigma i equals 1 to m this will again be theta x transpose theta transpose x multiply this with this minus theta x transpose y minus y transpose theta transpose x plus y transpose y okay one by two m sigma i equals one to m again uh, we know that this and this will be theta square this and this will be x square okay because theta times theta transpose is theta square x square minus okay theta y x transpose minus we can invert this like if we do inverse of this then it will be if you take inverse of x then it will automatically inverse this okay plus y transpose y okay so now 1 by 2 m our equation is i equals 1 to m theta square x square minus theta y x transpose this will be 2 because this and this are same plus y transpose y okay now now we need to take derivative uh, with respect to theta as i said our aim should be to take the hypothesis of derivative with respect to any variable if we equate it with zero and we, if we calculate value of theta then this will be optimal value correct so now let's differentiate so that's what our intuition should be So let's differentiate this with respect to d of theta okay so we know that d of theta of n with respect to d of theta is n theta to the power n minus 1 okay and d of theta by d of theta is 1 and d of constant with respect to d of theta is 0 okay so this will be derivative of theta squared x squared with respect to d of theta minus 2 derivative of theta y x transpose with respect to d theta plus derivative of y transpose y with respect to d of theta okay so this will be this is my n x to the power n minus 1 okay this we will apply this formula this will be 2 theta to the power 2 minus 1 times x square okay minus 2y we will exclude we will uh, we'll take these things out by d theta plus this is our whole constant so this will be like 0 d of constant of theta is 0 0 so this will be 2 of theta x square minus 2y x transpose now we will equate this with 0 okay then 2 of theta x square equals 2y x transpose this is my optimal value to generate theta okay the so 2 2 will cancel out my theta will be 
x transpose y times x square so we again we know that x square is by x transpose x so which is theta equals this if we take upper in will it will be reciprocal if we do it on the upper side and then x transpose y so this is what we have generated so this is how we generate optimal value of theta this again gives us optimal value okay so let's implement this in python okay so uh so i have imported my library so this is my library this is my same data set that i have used last time we don't need to do any feature normalization uh, while calculating while generating normal equation so this is uh, the one that we usually append this is this is these are the things that we have done in our last video okay so uh, so our aim is uh, to generate this equation so i have shown you how we derive this equation x transpose of x whole inverse x transpose y okay so in in numpy how we uh, take uh, inverse we, we even need to study that okay as and suppose my numpy suppose my a is suppose np dot as a one one comma two two comma three so mm, the a inverse will be np dot min alg mm, alg inv dot inv whole a if you do that we will get inverse of this so how this is calculated is suppose my my a is 1 2 2 3 okay so this let's say this to be a b c d so my a inverse is 1 by a determinant all minus b minus c okay d and a and a determinant is this into this a times d minus b times c okay so now my a inverse will be 1 by this times this and this times this means 3 minus 4 okay so my d will be 3 b will be minus 2 c will be minus 2 a will be 1 okay so this is the formula that we are using okay so it will be minus 1 times 3 minus 2 minus 2 1 so we if we multiply it this will be 3 2 2 minus 1 okay so this is this is how we calculate inverse of a matrix okay now now we know uh, how to generate transpose and now we know how to generate inverse so my equation will be we already have x and y x and y we have already generated so my equation will be first if, if we need to take inverse my inverse will be np dot in mv x dot transpose at the rate does matrix multiplication so this will be my inverse and then we need to multiply it with x dot transpose times at the rate what it's this is all a matrix multiplication that we are doing so first this is taking inverse x transpose of x and this is again taking calculating this part x transpose of x 
y now our, now my theta will be inverse and to it so this is my optimal value of theta okay so this was my hypothesis that i have i did uh, this in last video so let's predict using this uh, value of theta so this is my prediction okay so let's calculate r2 score this has a i also did this in my last tutorial okay so my uh, so my accuracy is 73.29 percent so and this verify this with machine learning module so this is my linear module so i firstly did a fit and then did a prediction and then calculate my score so it's, it's matching with what we generated using using our normal equation so yeah uh, you might have uh, like uh, you might think like which one should we choose uh, should we choose gradient descent or normal equation well it depends on on the number of feature that we have in our data if number of feature is extremely large then like i say if, if number of feature is more than thousand or five thousand plus if we have more than thousand feature then go for gradient descent and if we have less than thousand eight hundred seven hundred features we still can we still can use a normal equation uh, but uh, we still can use normal equation so if we have extremely large large number of feature then go with gradient descent as else we choose to go with normal equation in gradient descent we need to choose alpha and our loading rate as and also in while using gradient descent we have we need to do number of uh, we need to do many iteration to get our result uh, in comparison with normal equation if uh, n is very large then this transpose that inverse that we do this might be computationally expensive for for computing the result so if n is extremely large I'll go for gradient descent otherwise uh, we will work with normal equation to get optimal value of theta so that's it for today's uh, video i hope you enjoyed the video if you like my video please uh, subscribe my channel